we've all heard stories of people who say they were driven nearly crazy by voices in their head, distracting them, commanding them to hurt themselves, occasionally to hurt others. But now for the first time, you can actually experience for a few moments what these people live with as they struggle with the illness known as schizophrenia. Dr. Timothy Johnson has news of an amazing futuristic breakthrough that puts you inside a tortured mind. They are present every waking minute. And worse, when night falls, they are everywhere. Why don't you just leave? The voices, the internal demons that take shape and form as words of torment. Evil! Unbidden, these voices can be triggered by certain religious symbols of faith. Run away! Mingle in the lyrics of song. Spew venom from computers, cell phones, and radio. And send negative commands through the television airway. All the voices are evil intonations urging destruction and harm. Ken Steele has heard those voices most of his life. I was 14. 14 years old, listening to the radio like a lot of kids, hiding it under my bed. The announcer came on, and he started talking directly to me. I mean, it, it, he was talking about me and to me. The voices commanded him to hurt himself. They were predicting my death, and they were telling me how to electrocute myself. They were telling me how to burn myself and just explode myself. Ken's behavior became increasingly bizarre. The voices got louder and louder every day. He was no longer in control of his life. They were. And they were very real. Very real. As real as your voice. Ken's worried parents took him to the family doctor, who finally put a name to his terrible ordeal, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a mental illness that is still largely a mystery. Its cause is unknown. Doctors can't explain why victims have symptoms such as paranoia and delusions. They don't know why monstrous hallucinations affect many schizophrenia victims, why 25% see visions and about 60% hear voices. I couldn't do anything. I was so sedated. Ken and many of the members of his support group share a history of seeing visions and hearing voices. Doctors say auditory hallucinations are often more dangerous than visual hallucinations because the spoken messages can drive victims to self-destructive behavior, go to tiny percent to turn violent, and eventually push one out of ten to commit suicide. Schizophrenia affects men and women equally. Women are most often affected in their 20s and 30s, while men typically begin in their late teens or early 20s. Dr. Ralph Hoffman is acting director of the Yale Psychiatric Institute and an expert on schizophrenia. He has watched many of his patients struggle unsuccessfully to block out the imaginary voices. It's very, very hard. I received a letter from a patient describing it as a, as a constant state of mental rape. Medical treatment has been effective in regulating common schizophrenia symptoms, such as paranoia and delusions. But for the visions and voices, drug therapy is often only a temporary stopgap at best. It's devastating for the patients with the most severe disease. They suffer until death, bombarded by the incessant noise. Do you have any problems with the medications, any side effects? I never had any problem with medications. Schizophrenia is a cruel disease, often striking people who are creative and smart. People like 56-year-old Connecticut resident Donald Johnson. Donald was a stellar student in high school. He also excelled in college, making the dean's list at Ohio Central State College and graduating with a top award in chemistry. At 38 years of age, he was in the middle of his career as a research chemist. I was working at uh, RCA uh, in, in uh, Princeton, New Jersey. When I thought I first heard some voices, then when I got home, I did hear some. You know, I drove my car home that day. You know. And what did the voices say when voices you got home? Said, uh, "You're no good. Commit suicide." Uh, just like that. Just like that. Remember that picture you drew? Yeah. Yeah. Donald's brother, Benjamin, says the family had a hard time witnessing the change in Donald. And we'd be sitting there eating, and he would be having a conversation with, with somebody in the, you know, in the corner. He'd look over in the corner and 
speak to this individual, you know. I was just afraid that we might have the voice problem again. Barbara Ann Herbst Lautenbach was 28 when she experienced what doctors call a first break, the first hearing of voices. Now, at 50, the voices are still with her. The voices keep telling me to die, and like they say, die, 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 die.